go. Twenty seventeen GMC Sierra Denali six point uh, six point two liter and uh, a beautiful coder inductions elite series coder intake for a twenty seventeen GMC Sierra Denali. What is up YouTube? How's everybody out there doing today? I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. I know it has been a hot minute since I've made a video for you guys and I figured to start it off back up right now. I've been taking a little break because to be honest with you guys, I've been super duper freaking busy here at the shop. I have a lot of things that I need to get done before the end of the month here. Um, so I've been, I've been really working. I've been pushing cars and making cars happen and yada 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 and all that other stuff um but yeah so that's why i haven't been making videos so i do apologize for that guys um but yeah oh, it's been crazy it's been crazy so a little update on a few things here at the shop well with the duramax i have a licky boy over here in my engine bay it's a power steering line one of them i don't know which one but it is soaking down the frame and keeping it from rusting which is a good thing uh so i'm going to be ordering these uh, new power steering lines and i'm going to be doing a video about installing them doing a video about installing them as well onto the good old dirty max she's been pissing her ass off got uh, uh yuck another update on the bird as well which is sitting over in the other shop alternator decided to take a dump and uh that sucks so now i have to get another alternator and put it in i'm going to try to squeeze that in today i don't know how i'm going to do it but um i'm going to try to squeeze that in today um so we'll see what happens there we'll see what happens there uh but yeah that needs an alternator other than that the car is running good other than the alternator killing the battery um i checked all the cables and stuff everything looks good everything's you know hunky dory there but yeah needs an alternator and I have to go buy one, which sucks. But I put one in like two years ago, I think, at Keith's Pit Stop, when we first dynoed the car, maybe three years ago. And it's been the same one ever since. And But the car hasn't really ran all that much. It's sat, sat more than it ran, obviously. So yeah, so I gotta do that. So we're gonna be doing that. But in this video, in this particular video, this a particular video, we're gonna be installing a colder inductions, colder intake beautiful beautiful intake these these guys have been a big supporter of the channel ever since day one coder inductions if you guys want any of their products or need a coder intake for your 2018 go check them out please go give them some love but let's do a little unboxing here and show you what comes in the box that way you know what you're getting when you when you do order yours this customer actually did have a coder intake on his car already but he wanted a better one so i informed him about coder inductions and how awesome of a company they are and how fast their shipping is as well. And he's like, yep. He's like, let's freaking do it, guy. I was like, okay. So as you can see, everything's really nicely packed with that air foam stuff, which is freaking amazing. We have our filter, filter box right here. We have our tubing, which connects to the OEM valve cover placements as well, which is really, really nice. So it's not just cheap rubber tubing. We have our quick, I guess it's quick disconnects. We have our mid pipe tubing here. We have uh, our actual uh, intake tubing right here. And then we have our box, as you can see, right here. We don't need that anymore. So let's uh, open this up a little bit more so you guys can see what we got. Yeah, buddy. There we go. There's our intake box for our intake. As you can see, it does have a, a cover on there, which is really, really convenient and nice. 
You can actually take the cover off to access the filter. You have heat shielding inside as well. So it keeps a lot of that engine bay heat out of your intake box setup, which is very, very convenient too. This here is like plexiglass. Let's tear this off right now. Kind of a pain in the butt, but it protects it in the shipping, which is good. Ah, oh, she did. Oh well. There we go. And she's off. And as you can see, nice open window right there. Take your other sticker off, our non disclosure thingy thingy. Yeah, it's right there, guys. Very nice intake box that's going to sit inside the engine bay. So, put that to the side. We have our mid, mid coupler section, I would say. I would call this a mid coupler section right here from Cooler Inductions. And unlike the old intake system that was on this, these have, oh, oh my God. Unlike the old intake system that was on here, these have quick disconnects that go on. That look very professional and very nice, which is good. And then obviously we have our intake tubing that the mass sensor goes in right here. So your mass sensor will go there. Um, and then this just goes in your, in your intake. So let's unbox the filter, get that out. And then we're going to start to do some assembly guys. Hope you guys are excited because this is such an exciting video for you guys. So let's get, let's get rolling. All right. As you guys can see the box is in. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and Put this uh, center pipe in here. What's very nice about this kit, guys, is everything is basically ready to go. Um, you don't have to put clamps together or anything. Like it's all here, ready to rock and roll for you. All you have to do is slide it over the pieces, and that's it. Which I find extremely convenient. Obviously, that there's our right there. Oh, we gotta loosen that one up. That's the worst you gotta do is loosen up these clamps, and that's it. And that's easy, easy peasy Japanesey. There we go. That's in there like so. And then <laughs> it's almost too simple. To be honest, it's almost too simple, guys. Look at this. I need a ladder because I'm short. Look at that. And on she goes. That, that freaking easy. And then basically, center everything up here and tighten everything down here. Okay. That's going to be an issue. Put up here. Yeah, buddy. Next thing we do, as you can see, I put my mass sensor in as well here. Next thing we do is we take our quick disconnect piping and we figure out what side goes to which. I think that one goes there. Hmm. Could be wrong. Maybe that one goes there. That looks like that looks about right. Yep. Yep. I think they're the right side. There we go. That one's on. That one's on. And there you go, guys. Pretty simple install. The last thing we need to do is we need to put our cover on here, which is pretty simple as well. Alrighty. Get our coder inductions cover here. Goes nicely. Oh, wait a minute. I'm confused again. Put it right there like so. Find our little eyelets here. There we 
I go. I think that's one of them. I don't know. There we go. There's that one. And then one more. Boom, all done. All right, now that we got the system installed, we backed it out of the shop so you can get a better view of what this thing looks like. And I have to say, guys, it is freaking amazing. Get a little aerial view here of the whole system. Very, very nice system. Um, if you guys remember in a previous video, I uh, talked about when Street Speed 717 ended up getting one of these 2017 uh, Chevys. It wasn't a GMC, but a Chevy. And we ended up putting it on Case Dyno, made a couple pulls with the stock setup, put their colder inductions intake on, on the dyno with no tuning and picked up like 20 horsepower or something like that. You can find the video back in the old days if you just look a little bit. And there's a whole bunch of videos back there you'll like as well. So let's take it for a little drive and make sure she is working good, guys. Alrighty. There we go. I kind of like these trucks. I think this is the eight speed too, if I remember correctly. There we go. IntelliLink, whatever. Oh yeah. Go ahead and take her around the block. There we go. I feel like I'm too close or something. Like the pedals are too close to me or something. I don't know. It's weird. All righty. Can't see anything in back of me, even though there's a there's a camera. Oh, oh I'm getting vibrations in my seat. That's weird. <laughs> oh yeah, you can't really hear the intake, but that's not a big deal. Oh, this thing is 6.2 liter, guys. This thing's pretty nice. I usually like to take cars around the block um, one or two times just to make sure everything I did works correctly and it's not going to have an issue. Oh, this thing's smooth sailing. Smooth sailing, man. Freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. Nice little quick intake setup. Takes five minutes to install. So if you have one of these 2017 and up, I'm going to put that window up. 2017 or up uh, GMC or Chevy's with the 5.3 or the 6.2 um, as long as it doesn't have a mechanical fan it'll it'll work but you, uh, it has to have the electrical fans not the mechanical I want to put that in there just so you guys know I know some of these trucks came with a mechanical fan um, as opposed to electric and you can't use their intakes on that only the electric fans oh, this thing's driving like a charm Oh yeah, this is nice. That's nice. <laughs> Whew, there's a cop right there. <laughs> I didn't have my seatbelt on. I was just driving around the block, but I didn't have my seatbelt on. I wonder if he's gonna pull me over. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I seen him as I turned the corner and that's why my face kind of got a little pale. I'm like, oh, that's not good. <laughs> and he definitely looked at me and seen my seatbelt was not on. <laughs> Forgive me guys, for I have sinned. <laughs> Oh my god, this thing is like telling you all kinds of crazy shit. Unbelievable. Alrighty. Oh, that first initial grunt. Oh, 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 oh that sounds good. Here we go. Wait, wait for it, guys. Wait for it. Ah. That's well worth the money. Well worth the money. Well guys, that's gonna cut our video. And like I said, I mean, well, let's see if we can get a thumbnail here, maybe, I don't know. Maybe we can, maybe we can't, maybe, I don't know. There we go, right about there, I guess. That might be a good thumbnail. But um, as you guys can see, the truck runs superbly good, probably better than it did before. But uh, yeah, cool little, cool little five minute job. Doesn't take that long to do, which is freaking awesome. 
hopefully I'm, there we go. Doesn't take that long to do and it's an easy install. You can literally do it in your garage, in your backyard, um, at nighttime. It's that easy, you can literally put an intake on at nighttime, guys. But uh, other than that, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, Diablo Formula Racing on Instagram, go follow me. And uh, yeah, deuces.